The new Southampton Centre for Cancer Research will be at the cutting edge of developing new treatments to cure cancer. It's being built by the University of Southampton and is expected to open in 2017. £25 million needs to be raised to fund it and will be based at Southampton General Hospital. I'm pleased to welcome the centre's newly appointed director, Professor Tim Elliott. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. So it's a centre for cancer immunology. That's correct. What yeah. is that? Yeah. So uh, when we're born, um, we're born with this amazing um, self-defense uh, system called an immune system. And it protects us from infection for you know, pretty well for the, most of our lives. Now, it turns out that your immune system can also recognize cancer when it arises. Uh, and so cancer immunology really is the study uh, of the way that um, uh, your immune system can recognize cancer. Uh, the way it sort of uh, gets to the right place, it can sort of um, traffic through your body to, uh, to get to the cancer. And importantly, um, it also studies the way in which tumours can switch off your immune system if it is uh, provoked. And that's what we're going to start doing in Southampton. So will you be able to get the body to fight cancer itself or how's it going to, how does that work? Yeah, so one of the things that we're uh, hoping to do is to harness the um, immune system to recognize uh, cancers in very specific ways uh, and almost make a, a tumor look to your immune system as, uh, as if it were a, an infection, a foreign body to really supercharge your immune system to focus it on, the, on a cancer. Because at the moment that doesn't happen then. What happens with our immune system and cancers? Do they sort of go undetected or what happens? Well, that's a really interesting question. Um, it turns out that they can be detected, but when your uh, immune system gets there, and by immune system I, I mean our white blood cells, a particular kind of white blood cells called killer T cells, they can get that's to a, a tumour. <laughs> And that's what they do. They, uh, they, they, they're there to kill virus-infected cells. But they can also make their way to uh, tumours. But once they get into the tumour, they're switched off. And the tumour's found all sorts of uh, clever ways of avoiding detection by these uh, killer T cells. And so what we hope to, uh, to do is to really reawaken that immune uh, response and get those killer T cells to wake up uh, and kill the tumour that they're embedded in. Well, it sounds like really cutting-edge science. Are there going to be patients involved at this centre? Absolutely, yes, yes. So um, the Southampton Centre for Cancer Immunology will bring together uh, discovery scientists like myself uh, with clinicians and the clinical trials unit. So this is a group of uh, people who design uh, and speed up the process of taking uh, discoveries from the laboratory into clinic. Um, so, yeah, very much one of the uh, major objectives of the centre will be to deliver new therapies really quickly into patient populations for the first time. Because, I mean, there's kind of two sides to that coin, isn't there? Some people would say that, you know, it takes a very long time from someone discovering a treatment for it to be kind of approved mm. and go through the whole system so that then patients can get it. And other people will say, well, that's a good thing because it means that patients aren't exposed to something unsafe. Mm. Is that, are there going to be any risks for people? Well, the good thing about immunotherapy, which is the kind of therapy that we're um, interested in, that, all that means is that harnessing the immune system to, to, to fight cancer, is that actually the, the toxic side effects are much less than conventional therapies. So these are not poisonous chemicals like uh, chemotherapeutic drugs. Mm. Um, this is really your own defense that we're just targeting in a, in a slightly different way. So actually the side effects are, are much lower and the benefits uh, promise to be much greater. It sounds really exciting. Are there other centres like this around the world, or are you one of the first? In the UK, we'll be the first dedicated cancer, uh, cancer immunology centre. Um, there are lots of other places in the UK that are uh, interested in immunotherapy, um, but we're the first one to gather all those uh, um, specialties together. We're going right the way from discovery sites where we generate new knowledge about how our immune system recognises uh, cancer, right the way through to putting those discoveries into clinic. And so you're going to be the director, or you are the director of the new centre. What's your job going to be? Well, my job will be, first of all, to get a building up and running. So we're <laughs> building a, a new um, uh, institute, um, 4,000 square metres of fantastic new laboratory space. Um, and my first job will be to make sure that that's, um, that's built, it's delivered in uh, spring 2017, uh, and that we bring all the right people into it and that they're interconnected uh, properly. My second job then will be to uh, deliver you know, the vision that I kind of uh, uh, express 
expressed to you um, with all the right people connected to other centres in the UK and around the world so that we're fully integrated with what's going on uh, around the world. And just briefly tell me a bit about yourself and how you became interested in this field of study. Well, well I'm, uh, um, I'm a basic scientist, so I graduated with a degree in biochemistry and I became interested in immunology as an undergraduate um, and did my PhD actually here in Southampton um, with um, George Stevenson who was one of the directors of the Tenebus uh, Institute that started out immunotherapy as a field. This was uh, in the uh, early 1980s uh, and really that laid the foundation for my interest in, in, in immunotherapy which has grown and grown over you know, the past sort of 30 years. Um, it sounds like really exciting stuff. Just briefly before we go, you've raised about £18 million and you've got to get to £25,000. Are you looking for public looking. donations and if so how can people give money? There's a, a website um, um, that the University of Southampton runs. All the contact uh, information is on there. Uh, we'd be delighted if, uh, if anyone out there feels uh, motivated enough to make a donation. We should say that we're putting the whole building up, um, you know, thanks to people who really care about uh, cancer therapy. Um, we have no uh, input from, um, from government. Um, so if you feel so inclined, please donate. Professor Elliott, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure. Really nice to meet you and good luck with it all. Thanks very much. You're welcome.